Hey guys, how are you doing? Today we're gonna have a look on uh, Auto Voice, which is one of the Auto Apps plugins for voice recognition in Tasker. So have a look at the selection screen. If you're on a mobile, you probably want to look in the description for links or watch the video from uh, start to end. If you on the uh, computer, you should see the overlays that allow you to click on stuff uh, to go to a specific section that you need some information on. And also additional information is available on the website, not enough tech, if you prefer to read about it instead. Before you get started with Auto Voice, it's good to open the Auto Voice app and set up the application itself. Google Now integration allow us to pick how should Auto Voice behave when we're using OK Google commands on our phone. You can use both Auto Voice and OK Google or choose to cancel the OK Google notification well, search results. And uh, also you have some uh, support options like to run it in the background should your Android decided to close it. Fairly recent addiction is running the voice commands on the different devices. So you can choose a network device that you've got Auto Voice installed on and you can either execute the commands there or ask for commands in a different device. Please note there is a Chrome extension available with Auto Voice. So if you want to run commands from a computer, uh, that extension when installed will appear on your Auto Voice settings. Other options allow you to decide how long is the timeout, what devices should you use, whether you want to pass the audio through the headset or only or um, multiple um, microphones, or just simply choose the language settings. Also, if you're interested, uh, you can set the auto voice to run in a continuous mode, which means it constantly waits for commands uh, and either responds to it or waits for the hot phrase. Uh, you can use uh, the ambient noise also to measure the uh, level of the noise and respond to that. And the application itself has a lot of different options for troubleshooting your commands. So you can uh, look through various uh, toasts and uh, logs uh, to be sure your commands uh, are displayed as it's supposed to be. Lastly, in advanced option, this is where you can set your custom hot phrase. So if you want to call your phone a Jarvis or HAL 9000, you're obviously free to do so. And, well, play about with the, all the options available there, set it up to your liking, and then you're ready to integrate this with the tasker. Auto voice have state and event conditions. Let's take a look at auto voice actions available. The first action is continuous. This allows you to enable the continuous listening, set the language, and uh, you can also uh, select and create a short, small notification that would inform you that this option is enabled. This means you don't have to run this option all the time and you can enable it from one of the profiles in Tasker so, you, so the auto voice would wait for your command. Setting up the notification, those two things, making sure that Android doesn't uh, kill the service and obviously uh, letting you know that uh, the mode has been changed and the device is listening constantly. As you may know, this takes a little bit more power, so uh, you might consider this especially uh, when you're not running on your device, which is plugged into the mains. The next option that we've got is to control the Bluetooth headset. Uh, with this action, we can simply redirect all the um, system sounds to the headset. So if you want to pass all the sounds to headset, just select it. And if you want to disable this, uncheck the box and you're ready to go. Another action is to measure the current noise level around the device. Uh, you can set the tasker and auto voice plugin. So listen for specific amount of seconds and give you a uh, level of the uh, ambient noise around you in a variable which is uh, AV noise level. In a very similar way to continuous action, uh, the noise action allows you to enable listening to the ambient noise. Um, we've got very similar option here uh, available to set up the notification to our liking and to make sure that the uh, tasker won't kill the uh, service itself. So this option is just to enable the service. One of the most important function of Auto Voice is to recognize your commands and uh, action to recognize. Uh, 
is the one to use. It's very similar to the condition, but in this case, used as an action allows you to change some commands uh, together. This action will create a voice prompt that you can name it to your liking, and it will await specific amount of time for your voice command. Apart from the standard settings like which uh, language to use and which device we should pass it on, I think the most important um, option in here are the matching options. This is where you get to enter your filters uh, to recognize what you're actually saying or which words you should respond to with your profile. You can set your command just by typing or you can just say it by pressing uh, speak filter and then the voice, um, auto voice will recognize your command and write it down for you. There's a few things to consider. Uh, how are you going to match your option? How are you going to match your command? The most popular would be using regex, regular expressions and auto voice supports them fully. All the commands and each words are available in a variable populated by the auto voice itself and uh, you can use them later. You can assign an ID to your command, which is kind of like a tag for what you're saying. So if you're gonna say yes, um, it can be interpreted by several different profiles, but if you specify a command ID, then you know that yes refers to a command involving playing, for example, a movie. The last action is really to test and troubleshoot your profiles uh, without speaking directly to your phone. So if you're in a public space and you want to test few profiles you just created, you can use this option to imitate a voice command being issued. This option is especially handy when dealing with uh, all the devices available, so you don't have to run all the way to another device to imitate the uh, voice input. All right, we've got all the actions covered. Let's uh, have a look at uh, state and event conditions. First two state conditions are responsible for recognizing Bluetooth buttons on your Bluetooth headset. You don't need any config for that. However, uh, you have to remember not all the devices are supported and it's kind of trial and error at this point. So if you have a Bluetooth headset, just play about and see which button it can respond to. Next option on our list is no match. This condition will trigger when we issued the voice command, the voice command has been recognized. However, we don't have a profile that would match our um, command. You have to remember, in this case, all the variables are being populated with your words and uh, you can use the regex to kind of uh, narrow down to when you want to respond it to or what words you want to pick on. As long as the language is recognized and the words are passed over, this profile will trigger with this condition. The next state condition is uh, responding to uh, noise levels. So in configuration, you can set the noise level or you can measure the noise level around your device in which you want to respond to. And once this is configured, uh, you've got yourself a ready condition. Bear in mind, the lower the value, the bigger the noise outside. Recognition failed responds to failed attempts of recognizing a command, whether it's due to internet connection or other technical difficulties. In a very similar manner as recognize action, you can choose the state event uh, to uh, recognize your commands. There is no really an advantage here of using a state event of the event behavior. So most of the time you do actually want to go and set up the recognized option as an event. You will see exactly the same options here to set your command filter. You can either speak it or type it out. Uh, you can decide about the source of the uh, voice command and obviously you can use matching functions including regex to match your desired uh, voice command. The common sources options should contain all the common sources you've used on your device. So if you've noticed two Bluetooth entries, it's my watch and my headset. One of the most interesting uh, settings in here is also ability to replace some of the words. So, for example, you can fix your profile or accent or whatever uh, by changing the words and responding to some similar words. So, one of the examples would be a sun, which is the something that shines in the sky, and sun, which is, uh, you know, uh, father's boy. 
those could be easily confused by the voice recognition however you can make sure that uh, both will trigger specific profile another things you should be paying attention are uh, command ids which allow you to group all the voice recognition uh, together in into a chains so they will belong to one conversation if they have the same um, id next condition are google results so you can actually respond to some google results presented to you on the screen this depends on your version of the operating system and your device and in my nexus 6p uh, i can respond to song search or can't reach google you can also respond to OK Google commands. Uh, there is no config needed, and each time you say OK Google, uh, the auto voice will respond to it. And the last event available here is the recognized. Basically, this is something you should be using instead of the state. So all the rules from the state apply in here. And uh, this is where you can configure all your filters, select the devices, etc so if you've not watched the state one just uh, watch the entry on state and you'll know more perhaps the only thing i should emphasize is once the uh, command is recognized by auto voice it will populate all the variables available on your plugin website and i'll give you a few options from custom made variables to an arrays uh, that will contain every single word Thank you guys for watching. Consider subscribing to my channel for more content or visit the website for additional information about this video and many others. And again, I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.